Yo, yo, yo! I'm so excited, man. Like, we are about to experience some peak cinema. Just looking at this trailer of Dawn to Dawn that came out earlier today, it really just, like, they're, 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 the art animation looks so freaking good. The movement to the color palette to the character designs, it legitimately is just such... It's such a good teaser trailer. Like, this is a legitimately great teaser trailer. I like the music that's on display here. It looks just... This looks phenomenal. Like, legitimately, this looks very phenomenal for how, like, I guess early in the works this is this. Because I don't think we have a definitive release date yet. We know it's going to be releasing next year, but we don't exactly know when it's going to air. At least to my understanding here. Let me pull up their thing. Uh, yeah, see, we don't yet know. We just know it's airing next year, so we don't actually have an anime season. But, regardless of that, just the art animation of this PV trailer is honestly astounding. And, you know, I need to talk about science, you know, Saru here, which I think is very important to talk about. Because they have honestly been making some absolute bangers as of late that kind of just go underneath the radar. Like, here's what they've worked on, okay? And obviously, this doesn't count, like, say, every project here, because there could be some projects that fly under the radar, or projects that legitimately, you know, they've worked on that, you know, they weren't fully in control of, stuff like that, but, uh, as you can see here, they're obviously doing Don to Don right here, but, I mean, they've worked on quite a few things over the years, stuff that's, you know, definitely been very popular, and I've seen a lot of people talk about, I mean, like, we have Azo Ken right here, to Devilman Crybaby, it's very obvious that, you know, the studio definitely picks up some high-quality projects, and when they work on something, it is in its own way unique. It does have a unique presentation to it. Obviously, it does come down to the staff as well, which let's get right into that. Alongside of this PV teaser trailer we got earlier today for Dawn to Dawn, we also got the staff listing, which is very nice to see. So we know who the director is now, which is this individual right here, Fuga, and I want to pull them up for you can kind of see. So as you can see, this is the director of Dawn to Dawn, and they have worked on Devilman Crybaby, Ezo Ken, Kimi, they've worked on, you know, obviously worked on Dawn to Dawn, and worked on Heki, which I haven't actually watched this one, but I've heard a lot of people tell me that this legitimately is a really good show. It, it, it's very clear that this individual, you know, has worked on anime, not like a huge pedigree of like decades of work, but it's clear that they have directed before, so they are at the very least knowledgeable and know how to do it. But one of the big things that stood out to me was definitely the music composer here, Ushio. And I want to pull them up here. So Ushio is doing the music for Don to Don, and obviously if you listen to this, uh, you know, PV trailer and all that, you definitely got to hear some of the music that's going to be on display. And the music sounds legitimately exactly what I want, would want from a Don to Don anime. And so this individual, looking at his track record and what he's worked on, like, Koino Katachi, to Chainsaw Man, Devilman Crybaby, Tengoku, Ping Pong, Space Dandy, Boogie Pop, like, oh my goodness, like, the list goes on. This individual has clearly worked on quite a bit over the years in terms of music, really good, very talented, and so, I would say if there's anyone that definitely could do Don to Don right for music-wise, I definitely think it would definitely be him, especially since he's worked on Chainsaw Man and Devilman, and then also Space Dandy, which that's ridiculous like I, I want to take a few moments to talk about that like Space Dandy's music is such a huge direction in comparison to like something like Chainsaw Man or even Devilman Crybaby so finding out that this guy right here is the one that did that music and even Ping Pong as well like that's honestly very talented. There is a lot of talent here. But um, going back into the staff, we also got, you know, obviously the offer here. But we got the script, you know, writer or whatever for the upcoming anime. And this is what they've scripted. As you can see here, they've scripted episodes of Attack on Titan and Season 2 of Attack on Titan to Jujutsu Kaisen to also Mob Psycho. That You can see that they've worked on a lot of stuff like even Kill a Kill to Kakiguri, Mob Psycho, you know, Season 2. Even Gurren Lagan. Okay, Gurren Lagann, that's a, that's a classic, okay, Let, let's be honest, it's a straight up classic, and worked on Chainsaw Man as well, and that's something I want to point out, if there is something that you'll notice when you look at, you know, these staff members, a lot of these staff members, at least when it comes to the music composer, to the, um, the script writer, they have worked on a few projects that kind of link together, like Chainsaw Man or JJK or something, and I noticed that, so it's clear some of the staffing that is working on Dawn to Dawn has some experience of working on very chaotic natured stories. Which, that's another thing. I guess this is a perfect segue to talk about it. So, Don to Don as a story is chaos. 
FYI, if you did not know, the writer of Dawn to Dawn was an assistant to Fujimoto, the author of Chainsaw Man. And so, now that you know that knowledge, if you know anything about Dawn to Dawn, you know how crazy it is. Obviously, the story is a little bit different from Dawn to Dawn, but I think that one of the big things that Dawn to Dawn does is it's definitely more chaotic in nature. It feels like very uncontrolled chaos in comparison to what uh, Chainsaw Man is. Chainsaw Man has a lot of chaos, but I feel like Fujimoto has tempered that blade and managed to mold it to where it's controlled chaos, while Dawn to Dawn's offer is more just like, let's just throw everything at the wall and let's make it work, and it does work. Dawn to Dawn is an absolutely astounding astounding story, an astounding work of art from manga, and seeing just the love and passion that this teaser trailer is obviously giving us definitely gives me high hopes that it's going to be a very, very good anime. Now, obviously, anything can happen from this point in time to when it releases because, you know, there could be hurdles to overcome, there could be production issues behind the hood or whatever, but, you know, there's a lot of things that could potentially happen to hinder the project, but looking at an early glance to just what is going on here, this looks like a very high production high quality project that is getting a lot of attention to detail and love I especially I especially love this final sequence here at the end like this teaser trailer where we have the turbo granny pier and oh my goodness this eye sequence looks just so good it is such a good animation sequence here and I cannot wait to finally just hear some of these characters and the voice acting behind some of the lines but um Anyways, with that out of the way, there is another element I need to talk about, and that is some drama and controversy that I have seen today. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to enlighten you. Basically, there was a lot of people I saw, you know, this is exactly what Chainsaw Man's anime should be. And the individuals I'm talking about are people in the Sakuga community, aka people that are all about color and art and all that within the animation community, and they just, they, that's really the only thing, like, some of them care about. Not saying all of them, but some of them. I saw people saying that, you know, Chainsaw Man was an utter failure, and it was too, you know, bland, the color palette and tones were awful, it wasn't vibrant and colorful enough, and that Dawn to Dawn is everything that Chainsaw Man should have been. And I saw this, and I was just like, oh my goodness, like, bro... Why is Chainsaw Man, like, living in your head rent-free? Like, seriously, like... Chainsaw Man's over a year old at this point, like the anime, and people are still up in arms about it, getting all upset. Hell, they complained so much that the director of Chainsaw Man left the project and is not going to be working on a continuation of Chainsaw Man. So, factoring all that in, they got what they wanted, they managed to get rid of some creative talent, someone that was trying to follow the vision of Fujimoto, when Chainsaw Man's very adaptation was something that was just... Anime, there's so many anime fans that would kill for an anime adaptation like Chainsaw Man. There is so many series I could just think of on the top of my head that I would love to see the amount of love and passion given to it like Chainsaw Man had. Hell, just one thing to kind of note on Chainsaw Man that was crazy enough was that it had a different freaking ending song every single episode. That That's insane. That's legitimately insane. And the fact that you have people like high up in the, the Sakuga community talking about how like Don to Don's PV trailer is exactly what Chainsaw Man should have been, I'm just like, okay. For one, yes, there is some correlation between the two series in terms of, like, you know, the assistant that's worked on Chainsaw Man, you know, as for Fujimoto, but it doesn't mean that the anime is going to be the exact same. They're, they're very different stories and all that, and even if there might be some inspiration there, they're very different. Don to Don is wacky. Like, it is a really insane, wacky story that is just bonkers. This is legitimately a bonkers storyline. Hell, go read the description, the synopsis of Don to Don's manga, and you'll be like, what the hell is even going on within this story? There's pictures, out of context pictures you can look up for Don to Don as well, where you see a character, this character, that literally doesn't have his balls. Like, they're gone. Like, legitimately gone. And they're stolen by, like, a spirit. And it's just like, Huh? Like, that? that's a plot line. Yeah, that's legit a plot line. And even me telling you that, you're just like, huh? You don't understand what's really going on there. So, yeah. All I'm saying is, is it, it's a little bit upsetting just seeing people have Chainsaw Man ripped free in their head and still trashing it when it was not a bad anime by any means, by a large margin. But I'll leave it at that. Anyways, Don to Don, its new trailer, or this first trailer, is incredible. I cannot wait to see how the anime is going to develop, and when more information comes out, I'll let you all know. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I would greatly appreciate it. Chibi out.